By now you have done your first GUI program. Welcome GUI class. And you're probably wondering what is actually going on behind. Because you were not sitting and doing a lot of coking on your own. You're just sitting dragging and dropping and moving a little bit around the stuff. So this lesson is about what is actually behind the code. So we will open up introduction project go straight to the welcome GUI class and take a look at it. Up here we can see the class name is welcome GUI, it extends, that means it is actually inheriting something from JFrame. That was the first thing we did when we created the class, this happened. We can see there's a constructor, welcome GUI, and there's a method called by the constructor, which calls init components, and it sounds like it is initializing some uh, GUI components. Let's scroll a little bit down. The main. Main, as you might know, is the method which is always activated when we are running or executing a class. Inside main, there's a lot of hocus pocus going on here. What you need to understand is that it is creating a anonymous thread new, this is done by the constructor, new runnable. And later on, when it is running, it will go in and call this method here. And inside the method here, we can see new welcome GUI. That means we are creating an object of the welcome GUI class, our GUI class. And uh, this object is set to visible because it says true here. That means we can see it on the screen. If we scroll a little bit further down, we can see something more. Variables declaration, don't ever modify it because it's done by the system. And we will recognize the names J label, J panel one, two, text field one, and welcome button. All this you were doing actually. And they pop up here as private data fields. If we move up a little bit again, look at the constructor. This method init components, well if we scroll a little bit up and scroll a little bit down we cannot see it. This is actually uh, because uh, it is hidden behind here. It is generated code and we don't need to see it because we can do nothing about it. I try to click here and see the generated code here. There's a lot. Here we can see that now after defining the data fields, then we're calling the constructor J panel, J bottom, J text field and so on, creating objects of the different types of GUI components. Then you can uh, recognize here welcome button set text. This is what we did. That the welcome button should have this label on it. And we go a little bit further down. We can see action performed. Inside action performed, there's a welcome action perform method call. And that means that when we are clicking the bottom, there will be somebody who is listening for that event. It's catching the event and then it is calling this method, which we can find down here. And what happened was that we inside the JTX field one, we set the text to be welcome my friend. That is what we did. And that is how Java and NetBeans actually together is encoding it by calling it through a listener system, which is pretty advanced, but you don't have to think so much about it. When you scroll further down, you can see there's a lot about group and JPanel laid out and add group and so on. All this is auto-generated. Ah, here's something we recognize again. Welcome to Java. That was the text on the top. So all this stuff here, we do not have to think about at all. This is something that NetBeans did for us. And of course we are happy for that because then we can use our brain for something else. If 
we look at it, we are next step will be to do an assignment called uh, some GUI and uh, there will also be some some video to see later on